bit of a check on the fixed income market because it'd be good to see how bond markets are tracking in the lead up to this. So I'll see if Simon Michelle from Fig Securities is joining us live right now. Uh, Simon, great to have your company on the program. Just wanted to get your view on bond markets, exactly how they're tracking in the lead-up to these two big central bank meetings. Yeah, good afternoon, Ingrid. Well, really interesting, actually, because we've seen good demand across the yield curve. We've seen uh, US Treasuries uh, out as long as the 30-year, down a couple of points, and that's reflected in our curve as well. So, you know, if you follow investor behaviour, they certainly seem to be quite content to uh, lock in long yields. Uh, they don't seem to be too concerned about potential volatility of a movement upwards uh, by the Fed in this month anyway. Do you think, uh, you know, in terms of bond market moves, though, they, they could be quite erratic over the next two days? Well, they could be, absolutely. And, I mean, you've also got the Bank of Japan we're waiting to hear from as well, and that could certainly have some impact uh, before we hear from the Fed. But I think, you know, if you have a look at the US two-year rate, after the uh, tightening back in December last year, that was at a level of 1.05%. It's now down around 77 basis points. So, mm -hmm. you know, you're just not seeing that really upward trajectory or that volatility that we have experienced um, um, prior to the last, uh, you know, potential September increase uh, back a year ago, nor post the December lift-off we saw uh, at the end of last year. All right, Simon, Michelle, appreciate that update. Thank you. Thanks, Ingrid. Obviously, lots to watch in bond markets, and I know Greg, you've got a lot to say on, on the bond markets and how.